Trina from Tui Tui and right now I'm gonna be showing you how to conduct the ketchup cartesian diver and tell you how it all works. So for this experiment you'll need a clear plastic bottle, a glass container, a packet of ketchup, and water. To start off you'll need to conduct a float or sink test just to make sure your packet of ketchup is barely floating in the water just like this one. If it does then it will have to do. Next. Drop the ketchup packet into the bottle and fill it to the brim with water. After you've done that, you can put the lid back on. Afterwards, give the bottle a squeeze and you'll observe that the packet will start to sink. Now, the main idea behind this observation is that the lower the volume, the higher the density will be and vice versa. When you squeeze the bottle, you're actually compressing the air bubble into a smaller space. Therefore, the volume decreases while the density increases. But, if you release the pressure on the bottle, you'll find that the packet will start to flow back up. And that's because once the pressure is off, the compressed air in the packet expands. Hence, the volume increases while the density decreases, causing the packet to flow back up. Now before I go, I'd like to credit Steve Spangler for his cool video. Thanks for watching. Bye!